What's going on everybody, Brick Builder here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Super Survival. In the last episode, we built a campfire, and we were working on the beautiful warehouse. And now today, we have got to finish the said warehouse. So we are going to be completing it and getting it to its finalized state, which will be very cool when completed here. And it's going to look very nice and be very, very beautiful. But... We have a lot to do. We have a massive roof to get on this thing. The roof is going to be huge on it. And it's going to take up a lot of wood to do. It's just going to be very expensive overall to do. But we're going to use up pretty much every bit of spruce wood we have if it will get us a completed roof. Because we can always mine up more spruce wood. And we might even have to mine up more spruce wood to complete this roof. It's that big. The roof of this place is massive. This warehouse is very huge but we're gonna get working on it here and I think we're gonna keep a semi basic roof on here because we can keep a basic roof and it's still gonna look good just due to the sheer size of this place like it is pretty massive as you can tell it is definitely no like mini build by any stretch of the imagination it is definitely huge and we're definitely gonna need more stairs than what we currently have to get this done it's got a very nice shape to it so that is good. At least the roof will have some shape and it won't just be a box pill and pyramid roof, you know, that sort of style. And there we go. Coming around here looking very nice. We're almost already out of stairs. So we are definitely, most certainly, going to need to gather more wood. And we're going to need to gather lots of it. We still have enough to make some more. Here we got like another stack. But what we'll do is we're going to have to go ahead and bone meal up. A ton of giant uh, spruce trees and we're gonna have to use those to get enough wood because I mean we have tons of slabs of the spruce so if we lose um, not slabs I mean saplings so if we lose saplings I have no problems losing any saplings because we have like well over a stack of them plus we literally have our fishing village in a spruce biome so if we ever wanted more um, you know saplings of spruce we could always grab them very quickly and very fast but we're just going to come around here and add a little bit more of this sort of situation here coming around strong right around the bend here and i don't think we're going to make it over to the other side with how many we have although we might i don't know it's possible but it might not happen yeah it might happen no that's definitely a good thing but we're going to need to be adding a few more layers here worth of the stairs so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead head back to the base head back grab bone meal and grab up a ton of the saplings as well and then we're gonna get to chop in here and grabbing all the extra spruce wood that we're going to need so i'll see you once i have done that Alrighty, so i've already chopped down a massive tree over there but i'm just going to show anybody who doesn't know how to do this how to do it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make like a two by two of those and then you just bone meal it up and you get this massive tree. And the way you want to literally harvest this thing is you're going to basically want to make a staircase out of the tree, like a so. If you do something like this, it's actually the quickest way to mine this type of tree. Although some people think that putting ladders up it is quicker. It's actually been tested. And generally, the place in the ladders takes a lot longer than it's worth because you can do this very quickly here. And you get a lot of wood out of this. Like, you can get well over a stack of wood from these types of trees which is definitely very convenient and very valuable and then what you want to do is on your way down just stand in the middle and just rotate your mouse like a so it should be very quick very easy and sometimes you get saplings back from these and other times you lose and you don't get four back so i would just suggest having a bunch of spruce saplings before starting to grow that type of tree as opposed to a regular one but as you can see, we have like literally three stacks of wood out of two trees right there. The one that I just did on camera and one I did off camera. So that is definitely a cool thing that we can use. And I'm going to go ahead and make this much more of those for now. We're going to probably even need more, but we can always do that when we get there. But let's head back on up to our roof here and go another level up. Okay, looking nice we're definitely getting the roof on here getting it on and getting it on well so that's a good thing and let's just keep on building here the roof because we need to get this roof on this thing so that way it's all working nice working well that's going to be a need of the warehouse 
we have to get the roof on so that way it gets completed in today's episode because that's the goal is to complete the warehouse in this episode it's definitely obtainable it is definitely something we can do it is a very realistic goal very realistic ambition so i think we're going to go ahead and do it it might take some time but we have all the time in the world right now to build this thing up to completion and now we are actually getting close to the end of the roof because as you can see we cannot even go up anymore so we actually made a lot of extra um stairs oh that's all right they will definitely have a use at some point throughout the world i'm sure we're going to be using those stairs at a later date i mean why wouldn't we use spruce stairs on something you know what i mean so we're definitely going to need those and just having them will just save us a little bit of crafting and what we're going to do is now we're going to just slab up the rest here just coming in with all those slabs which will look very good for what we're trying to do all right come on and let's just get those in there like a so and then replicate the same thing over here all righty and that oh my gosh we fell we are so great at this building thing all right let's head back out up to a roof that we fell from and here we go we are here from whence we came all right and let's go for something like along that line like a so and then we should hit on down here looking very very fine very very fine and very very nice all right so now that we have got the roof on the warehouse it is still not completed yet we're closer but we've yet to actually get there completed now what we're gonna need to do involves a crafting table which we're actually gonna throw in here anyway i want to throw a crafting bench inside the warehouse but now we need to cover up this and we're gonna go right here cover up the inside of this um roof because i don't want the roof to be visible and if we do that they can still open up the chest which is why we are using this level there so the chest can still be opened because it's going to be important if we decide to make use of this place as more of anything outside of an aesthetic build which it'll likely become some form of a warehouse i don't know for what yet but we'll see when we decide what we're going to be doing here so let's just get going and flowing over here with the roof it's getting very close but we're not there yet we have a lot of work left to do on this so let's just get the slabbage thrown in here all right come on looking very nice it's very dark the, the the ceiling roof thing which is why we're also covering this up i mean mobs might be able to spawn up there but that's not really going to be too much of a worry for us because i mean i don't really plan on opening up the roof anytime soon and letting mobs fall in so we should not have any problems of any sort with that because we're just not going to make it ever open up. But we are going to need more of the slabs, but thankfully we have harvested a ton of trees with our giant spruce tree harvesting strategy, which is why spruce wood is probably the best wood to build with for resource gathering purposes. It's probably the easiest wood to gather if you have slabs, so that's why I always recommend trying to incorporate spruce. That's why we started off our fishing village using spruce because well a we were in a spruce forest but b it's just the easiest wood to gather so it didn't take us too long with our slow tools to get a ton because we didn't always have diamond efficiency tools you know what i mean and honestly our axe right now is still only an efficiency three and our shovel is still only an unbreaking three so we're still rocking and rolling with not exactly the greatest tools but we can afk fish up some tools pretty much at any point if we really wanted to so we're going to cover that up and now that has been covered like so this is going to come out of the floor it's going to go back here along with this little table design that's going to be going over there and the same is going over here a little bit of a table design right over there like a so like a that now let's just see any more spruce saplings have they fallen yes okay we definitely made some bank on spruce saplings over there because now we have well over a stack and we came here with exactly a stack, so that's good. Now, there are some things up here that aren't despawning, which is bad, we need to get rid of those. That means that there's a piece of wood somewhere lodged in these that isn't broken, and we need to break that because we want to start making despawning happen here. So, we gotta get rid of any of those. Is there any more up here? Yeah, there's one right there. All right, I think we got all of those. 
So now these leaves will start despawning. What about over here? What are we missing? There's one right there we are missing. All right. And there's one right there. Okay, good. Because we got to get rid of all of these giant, like, floating leaf segments. It's just disgusting. We don't want to have floating tree segments. Like, it's already bad enough when you have a floating tree. When you just have segments of a tree floating, that's even worse. And I think we've gotten all of them. Wait, no, I see another one up in there. So let's just get that gone right now. All right. Also, anybody who was wondering, this will not be able to spread anywhere this fire because it's down so far. And if it does spread, it'll just die on this instead of keeping going to the wood. So this whole area will not burn down, at least very unlikely it will, unless like we get hit by fire or something like a lightning strike hits, then there's a the potential. Okay, we didn't get an egg good. Or we didn't get a chicken from the egg because you know, that would not be good. That would not be excellent at all. But we're gonna take a quick little nap nap over here because we do need to do that. And then we are going to see what else we have left to do on the warehouse. Alrighty, so I just grabbed one little thing from our base over here at the storage area. We don't have much left to do to the warehouse. It's pretty complete, but there is one little touch that I do wanna add to it just to give it a tiny bit of color on the inside because it is kind of missing some color. We're not gonna be using that. I don't know why I grabbed it, but we grabbed a little bit of the leaves here. We're just gonna use a tiny little bit of them just to get some color involved here. So we can literally just go like this and go up. Okay, that's not what we want. Up, like that. That's what we wanna do. We're just gonna literally add that tiny little tint of green right there. It'll hopefully help the whole area come together just a bit nicer, which is definitely, a thing we could benefit from and I think we're also gonna do it over here since we have a little bit of extra leaves and we could do the same thing as well over here if we really wanted to which I think would be pretty cool so let's do it right there up by two and up by two alrighty and then in the middle of this we're going to add some here we're gonna make this lighting a little bit better by doing something along these lines so I want to make like a little table situation here actually because I think that that could just pull the area a little bit pull it together because right now it is not really that you know um, I guess like as far as design goes completed we need to get this looking a little bit more full a little bit more like situated so let's go for something like a so um we can go like that and then we're gonna throw the table in right here all right this does, this is honestly gonna just look like it is all planks but we're gonna know it's not so that's what we're doing all this extra work to make sure of it doesn't really matter all that much we could just technically use planks for it but we're not going to we're gonna make it be as authentic as we can get it you know what i mean uh now i want this to be upside down like that good connect over there and then over here we still need to get that or maybe we actually could leave the sides like this open i feel like that could work yeah make it look so it actually has the table vibe to it good and then we need to have just a little bit of chairs thrown around that table so we're going to take some oak those oak and then this and what we're going to do is just give me a little bit of those okay we're going to make a few seats we can make up to six because we're going to be using the signs on the side of the chairs but i don't know if we're going to do six or not we're going to do one there and go bump and bump we'll do one there bump and, bump. and yes i know it'll be blocky this chest but it doesn't matter because we're going to put the signs on this side anyway if we decide to either to even um do anything with the chest in here so that's not too big of a deal at all if we decide that we're gonna use the chest, which I don't even know if we're doing yet. I can't throw another sign there, right? No, I can't, okay. Well, then we're not gonna put anything there. I'm gonna throw one more there, and that is looking very, very nice. I think it's got a good vibe to it, and I think we've actually completed the warehouse in today's episode, and that's gonna be all for today's episode. So if you guys did enjoy and wanna see more Minecraft Super Survival, make sure to hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I do appreciate it. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching.